Um, I was looking at Undisputed today, and um, I was watching Shannon Sharp and um, Skip Bayless discuss a topic. Uh, LeBron James, uh, he was cursed. He said a curse word, you know, during the speech that he was giving his his 13 year old son team. Uh, I guess he's like a assistant coach or something on that team, and um, he was giving him a speech about uh, they have to play as a team, and if you want to be a, uh, you know, you have to know your role, and everybody can't start. And um, if you want to be an, in an individual player, you can do what you want to do, be an in individual player instead of playing on the team, because that's what you want to do. And he, he said a curse word. Now, you know, Shannon Sharp did not have a problem with it. You know, um, there's no surprise there because he's a uh, LeBron James super fan. But um, I had no problem with it seeing that he wasn't personally cussing at a, uh, you know, a player. He wasn't berating the team. He was, you know, he was giving across, a, a you know, trying to give, his point of view on the situation, trying to uh, come up, you know, give his, uh, you know, his uh, take on the situation. And maybe the kids, um, you know, they were probably not happy with some of the kids uh, not starting. No, you know, they're 13 years old. So everybody wants to feel like a star. And he was just telling them, like, you know, everybody can't be a star. He, he did he did point out the fact that uh, in the NBA, a lot of those guys made it and some of the guys that came off the bench or some of the guys that did not were not considered the best players are still in the Hall of Fame, which is true. Some of the players are not considered the best player on the team or you know, they they're still in the Hall of Fame, but they're not coming off the bench. They they are starting the Brown. But, you know, I, I didn't have a issue with it. On the only issue I would have if, you know, uh, a coach is berating my son or daughter personally and they use a lot of cuss words, that's when I would have a problem with it. But Seeing that he said it the way he said it in the context that he said it, I mean, did he have to say it? No, he didn't have to say it, but I don't have a problem with it. But to you know, to everybody's surprise, nobody's surprised. Skip Bayless had a problem with it. He said that uh, he considers LeBron James a role model, and LeBron James should be better than that. Now, uh, I remember back in the day, Charles Barkley had a, com a commercial, a Nike commercial, saying he's not a role model; that parents should be their kids' role model, and I. Back then, I was kind of young, so I didn't understand really why he didn't want to be a role model. But as you get older, you grow, you see uh, life in a different light, you get, the, you have life experiences, and now I understand what he was saying. I mean, I understand before now, but you know, I understand. But he was essentially saying that kids look up to their parents because when you see your parents, you see your parents' ups and downs. So your perception of your parent is more of like a real life, you know perception when you look at these athletes and they have these corporations behind them and they have pr behind them to tell them how to act and how to cultivate their personality in the media uh you don't know how they are in private so when things like tiger woods happen things like kobe bryant happen when they had a problems people say man i ain't see that coming or i ain't think he act like that because he don't he doesn't he doesn't seem like that type of person but of course not because a lot of times those guys are selling something uh, jerseys, uh, shoes, uh, you know, things of that nature. And uh, those two uh, athletes, uh, Kobe Bryant and um, Tiger Woods, have big corporations behind them, Nike. So, yes, they're going to act a certain way because they're trying to sell a product. Now, the reason why you shouldn't put athletes on the pedestal or look, up, look at them as being role models is they you only get to see one side of them. You don't get, you get to see their private life and how they – how they they probably really act now. If some do, some guys genuinely are the way they are in in, in um the public eyes. They in private private. Yes, some of them are, but it's hard to decipher who that is. So, like I said, I would never let my kids look up or tell my kids look up to an athlete to be a role model. No, look at me because I'm gonna give you. You're gonna see my ups and downs, and you and you're gonna see uh, what I do, and probably and, and be better. Uh, you know, in your life on some of the mistakes I make and don't make the mistakes I make and, and the things I do good, you can, you know what I'm saying, you can take that from me. But an athlete, you can't get that. And you can, what you can get from an athlete, you can get some inspiration as far as how they made it, how, how they uh, cultivated their skills to get to a certain level, their level of dedication, uh, where they came from, their mindset. And you know what I'm saying? You can you can appreciate that and you can cultivate that in, in your uh, everyday, uh, some of your everyday life uh, things that you want to um, probably pursue in your life. But to say uh, an athlete is a role model and 
don't look at him as a full human being. Just like uh, Shannon, not Shannon Sharp said, LeBron James is a, a human being, which he is. He's a human being, so he's not going to always say the right thing. He's not going to always do the right thing because you as you as a person, you don't always say the right thing or do every or do do everything right. So you can't expect LeBron James or any other athlete to do everything right or saying everything right. But let me know what y'all uh, think about that situation. Was LeBron James out of hand? I mean, was he, you know, um, wrong for uh, using a, a curse word, uh, speaking, um, you know, to those young men? Let me know what y'all think. Subscribe to the channel, man. I'm out.